So we announced Scarlet um, last year at NAB with, with very few details other than pocket size, professional level, and that was it. And that, of course, caused a bit of an uproar. People want to know more. They want to know more. Right. And we're working on it. We're working on it. We're working on it. Um, a few months ago, we announced the name of this thing that I said was going to be pocket size and professional. We called it Scarlet. So that now gave them something to attach to. Right, right? exactly. And uh, everybody started talking about Scarlet, and that was great. Uh, today we announced what Scarlet, or yesterday, we announced what Scarlet is. It's a 3K digital cinema camera for under $3,000. It's a thousand, a thousand, a thousand, just under $1,000 a, a K. K. Yeah. <laughs> it's exceptional value. It is. That, that has uh, a two-thirds inch sensor in it. So this is not a little tiny sensor you'd expect to see on a camera of the size of what Scarlet is. You know, it's, it's a small little... It's not, you can't fit it in your pants pocket, but you could definitely fit it in a coat pocket or a, or a photo vest or something. It's that level of tool. Um, has, a, uh, has, a, has a fixed lens on it uh, that um, we're targeting um, for that type of, of product, you know, so it'll be very advanced. Um, and, and we're, it's an eight by zoom that uh, as we target and work toward the product, will drift hopefully more towards the wide side than most small format cameras. Because one of the things we hear a lot from DPs that are in the professional domain and trying to use little cameras, that they may make you know suitable images. Now our camera, of course, is the 3K camera, so we right. make way more than suitable images. More than just suitable. Yes. Yeah. But they're a lot of, acceptable for you know yeah. people who want to shoot something nice. Right. There Great are a lot looking. of cameras out there, right, that are that are doing HD 720 or 1080 variants of HD. The problem is that their lenses tend to be extraordinarily tight for the type of subject matter you're trying to shoot. So like if you were shooting in this room here, you'd have to put some kind of crazy wide-angle adapter on it. It'd be a problem. Um, so, so we we listening to that, and and hopefully we'll deliver on that. You know, can't make any promises. Everything's very early on, um, as you well know. With with our com our company, we're engineering development based company. So we build, target, work towards an end goal. And you know, if you look at what we did with Red One, we got pretty damn close. Uh, got a good track record. We so now far. have a track record. Yeah. yeah, that's right. There's actually a product lineup now. Yes, yeah, which is, is kind of exciting. There is indeed. It's not just the red anymore. No, there, right? is, which, there was a reason we one? called it Red One. Yeah, you know? that's right. That's right. Okay, so with Scarlet, then, so there's no spec yet then on the lens itself. We don't really know what the telephoto just, situation. is I can tell be. you, it's an eight by zoom that's okay. targeted for f 28 so it'll be relatively fast. Okay, and it's going to be a red lens, presumably. It's a red lens built into the camera itself. Okay, one compact body flip out LCD. Have a little flip out LCD. That's part of the plan. Um, you'll also be able to sort of accessorize it and grow it using red, existing red accessories. You'd be able to use the red uh, LCD on it. You may even, although maybe stepping out of my logic here, you may even be able to use the red EVF on it. Um, although it would be, the EVF would be as big as the camera itself, right. which would be an interesting dynamic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's possible. Uh, you know, anything is possible at this, at this part of the game. So we're, we're asking people um, to give us a little, a little breathing room, to give us a little room to develop. And show you what we got. You know, there's a lot of people already talking on the forums about, and it looks great, but sure wish it would have an interchangeable lens. Sure would da 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 da. You know, they're they're overthinking this. They're <laughs> they're they're putting too much stock into things that are still in development. And it's fine for them to talk. I mean, you know, we love it, right? The forums are great. There's a great environment. People talking, but it's it's okay to kind of let us do what we're gonna do for a little while and show you what we got. And then you can start saying, you know, it'd be great if, it'd be great if. We love the it'd be great if. Right. Yeah. No downside, but we're yeah. still really early on. Okay. So let us show you what this fixed lens is going to do, and then we'll go from there. 